Hi guys, Daphne here, and today I will be sharing with you my Booktubeathon TBR. And I have never done Booktubeathon before. In fact, I've never ever ever actually done a readathon before. So this is exciting. This is my pile of books. Some of them are upside down. And I only have five books because I don't know if seven is going to work. I do have some stuff I have to do the next week, which is when Book Tubeathon will take place. Book Tubeathon is a readathon. There are challenges involved about which books you have to read. There are also video challenges. I don't know how exactly how that's going to work. Like I said, I haven't ever done this before. So the first challenge is to read a book with blue on the cover. And for this challenge, I have picked to read a book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes, and I have read the Falling Kingdom series, and I loved them. I haven't read the third one yet, I have to do that, but this book should be pretty good. It's YA fantasy, I think. There's a really bad glare, you can't see the cover at all. There we go. No, no, yes, no. The next challenge is to read a book by an author whose last name shares the first initial as your last name's first initial. There we go. And for this, I have picked, this is gonna be like the big book that I don't know if I'll finish. Okay, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, and I've wanted to read this for a really long time. A lot of other people have loved it. Um, it sounds extremely interesting and extremely complicated. I, don't, I read pretty fast, so I think I can probably read this in a day and a half, day or two. Um, I don't know how fast it's gonna be. The text looks relatively large-ish, not like super duper small like some books. So I'm looking forward to reading that. The next challenge is to read someone else's favorite book. I don't have a book for this, but I'm sure one of the books here is someone in the world's favorite book, so I'm gonna count that as done. The next challenge is to read the last book that I acquired, and the last book that I got was the Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I'm actually reading this for my summer project for school, um, and this is supposed to be a very sad book, but also extremely interesting. I'm looking forward to reading it. I have not read the summary yet. My teacher did give me a relatively short overview of what it was about, and it sounds pretty unique. Um, this is definitely someone's favorite book. This one for sure. This book is extremely famous. I'm probably going to read this book last just because I will be annotating it because I have to write an essay on it at the end. So this one will go last just in case I don't finish it so it doesn't run over into the other books. The next challenge is to read a book without letting go of it. So this challenge entails that I have to ta read the book and I either have to read it in one sitting or I have to carry it around and never let go of it, which is gonna be a struggle, like if I'm eating or something. But for this, I have chosen to read Five to One by Holly Bodger. And this is one of the books along with the book that by Morgan Rhodes that I introduced at the beginning of this video that I have included in my um, library haul, which was my last video. This book is set in India in a futuristic society where the ratio between um, males and females is five to one. So that's such an interesting premise. I'm really looking forward to reading this. It's pretty short. It's like 244 pages. It's also partially written in verse. So this book should go pretty fast. I think I can probably read it in one sitting. The next challenge is to read a book that I really want to read. And for this, I have... Oh, there's a bookmark in here. There is a strand bookmark in this book. The next book I have chosen to read for this challenge is 13 by... I don't have the dust check back on. Oh, who is this guy? For this challenge, I have chosen to read 13 by Tom Hoyle. This book is pretty short also, but I've always, I've really wanted to read it. I got it in New York when I was there, at and I got it at The Strand, um, which is a bookstore in New York that's huge and massive and awesome, and... I think it's a thriller kind of horror. It involves a murder, maybe, sort of. I don't know, it sounded super interesting in the store and now I want to read it, so it's been sitting on my shelf for a while. And then the last challenge is to read seven books. I don't know if this is gonna happen, and I do have some other books, a lot of other books here that I can choose from if I run out of books. I have plenty, but I think that 
the bone season will take me a while to read. Um, I'm very, very, very excited to do the booktubeathon next week. If you're doing the booktubeathon, comment below and tell me that you're going to. And I will be doing hopefully most or if not all of the challenge videos for booktubeathon. So tune in for those. Bye!